Hello, hello, welcome to Cormula's Corner. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. So, welcome to another weekly vlog. It is Sunday afternoon, almost two o'clock. Um, I took last week off from filming and filmed a little um, help me prepare our house for guests type situation. I haven't looked at the footage, so I hope that video sees a lot of day. Um, but, Guests are gone. We are trying to get back into the swing of things for this next week. Um, so I just thought I'd go ahead and get started. I have a lot of stuff to do today. So um, I have already, we've had church this morning. I picked up groceries, um, got gas in my car, went to the pharmacy, all of the fun, you know, things. Um, and I want to get our house reset. Um, obviously, if you can kind of see behind me, the living room is pretty much okay. Um, there are a few things pick up um but that will take me like two seconds to do um I need to clean off the dining room table from lunch we had buffalo chicken wraps or I had buffalo chicken wrap Lucas hasn't eaten anything and then I need to put up groceries I'm just going to show you what I got in our grocery haul and kind of talk you through our um meal plan for the week let me I'm trying to fix okay so I'm going to talk you through our meal plan for this week and then everything else that um, I want to get done. I need to water my plants, so I need to put that on um, on my list. So, just trying to take care of some things um, to get us prepared for next week. I have two loads of sourdough that um, are doing their bulk, sorry, doing their bulk rise right now, so I need to get those in the oven in about an hour, hour and a half. Um, going to cook some soup tonight just all the basics so I'm gonna take you into the kitchen show you what I got at the grocery store and um, walk you through my to-do list for today so this is the grocery list um, <laughs> this is the grocery haul um, not very much it was expensive but I'm sure everybody understands where I'm coming from everything is so expensive and I went to Walmart so that is a little bit more expensive than we are used to because I always shop at Aldi. So um, here's some chicken for meals this week. We're doing Greek bowls and then probably for a breakfast bagel situation, I bought just two packs of thinly sliced chicken breast. Um, some bread flour for um, sourdough bread. I haven't mentioned it here yet, I don't believe, but I make my own sourdough bread now. Um, I, we have a taste for it. We love it. So, um, I buy flour just about every week now. Um, and then some Italian sausage for stuffed bell pepper soup. I also have a pound of, um, ground beef thawing out for that as well. Bacon, we're going to have sourdough BLTs. Some tzatziki dip for Greek bowls and hummus. Um, some, uh, cheese sticks and pepperoni for snacks and shredded cheese for some meal I don't remember bell peppers for the stuff bell pepper soup lettuce for Greek bowls these are tomato sauce and then um, pretty much Rotel just the great value brand that is going in the um, stuff bell pepper soup the mushrooms are going in um, smothered chicken smothered chicken for <laughs> smothered chicken thighs um, I'm going to attempt Worcestershire sauce, however you say that. That is for the stuffed bell pepper soup and because we were out. Um, some more garlic because we are almost out. Um, a scrub brush for dishes. This, um, These eyebrow shapers because I need to do my eyebrows. Some deodorant. Um, this ank anchor hawking um, jar. I'm going to move all of my starter out of my little jars. Um, and I will talk you through that in a minute, but I'm going to move that into here. Some steel wood, steel wool soap pads for dishes, parchment paper for um, sourdough making, and then um, a, a screen and light protector for Lucas's phone because this is broken. So that is um, the grocery haul situation. Okay, so um, I'm going to walk you through like my Sunday reset um, list of things that I need to get done. Um, I need to wash our work clothes, make our sourdough loaves, and it's 145, so in the next hour, hour and a half, whatever. Um, move my starter into the big jar, reset the kitchen, reset the living room, reset master bedroom and bath. Um, start the vlog, which I can mark off. Started the vlog, 
and then start dinner. I don't know if we're going to be hungry for soup um, at dinner time, so I'm just going to play that by ear. Um, I really want to film an October favorites video either today or tomorrow. Um, today might be the best day to do it, but we shall see. Um, this weekend, we are taking our annual girls trip to Covington, Georgia, so that is going to be a vlog in and of itself. So I'll probably end this vlog on Friday and then take you along on Saturday to... Um, to Covington with my sisters. So that is the list um, reset situation. I need to do, did I write anything about dishes? I guess reset kitchen will work, but that is the situation for today, the Sunday reset. Um, hopefully I can get this done, you know, pretty quickly so I can turn in early for bed tonight. Um, this, we aren't working, um, some new hours my husband is especially I'm not working the new hours yet um but he is getting up very very early in the morning and I am in turn waking up um early with him as well so I am I'm very tired um and also I had a doctor's appointment um not a doctor's appointment they called me in you know um last minute and um have me come get some labs drawn my my iron is low again so i'll probably have to do an infusion that may be sometime this week i'm not exactly sure um so just dealing with like the residuals of that it's not nearly as bad as it was last time yet um but it is well on its way i still am able to like do things um and has to have the motivation to do things i know that sounds really weird but when my iron is really low um like it gets it sometimes um i lose like all motivation because i just don't have the energy for anything but surviving so um i got um i went and picked up some prescriptions today um trying to help you know my whole pcos situation so we will see um i may start metformin i'm waiting to see um get a message back from my doctor probably tomorrow um so i love having pcos <laughs> if you guys have any kind of any of you that watch pcos not anybody that watches this channel and has pcos if you have any kind of advice what you do to um you know deal with your pcos symptoms please let me know because I, your girl is struggling i'm on the struggle bus it feels like um no matter what i try i am constantly struggling so um i'm going to stop chatting about health and life and they get to cracking on my to-do list okay so i'm um, going to tick off while i'm here and thinking about it i'm going to tick off the um, sourdough starter into the jar so um, I started out with a small jar um, just just a basic um, canning jar and quickly quickly outgrew it um, and then moved it into a bigger you know just like glass jar and um, it was starting to you know um, come out of it um like when it would rise um like after i would feed it it would just kind of puddle out and so yesterday i swapped it over to three of these little jars um and it was just too much starter um really for these jars so um and i really not like to have <laughs> three um three jars of starter to have to feed that's a little much so um i'm going to move it all over into here to this big jar um give it a good feed um and i would love i don't think i have everything i might but i would love to make um maybe some sourdough um Cinnamon, cinnamon rolls one day this week my mom just made some and they were fantastic um i have only made bread so far i've made like five or six loaves maybe more of bread um and we really enjoy it it does not last long <laughs> we eat it up um, i've taken some to work and everybody that has eaten it has said they enjoyed it um so you know after you get um i haven't really I didn't go out and buy a bunch of things for 
um, sourdough. I went and bought, um, when I first started, I went and bought the bread flour. Um, I already had the scale. And so slowly and surely, um, slowly but surely, I have just kind of added little bit by little um, to my, you know, sourdough toolbox or whatever you want to call it. Um, I needed a, a long, lame, however you say it. I've heard it said both ways, um, but a long, I went and bought one of those because um, I noticed that um, the knife, just like a basic knife, was not going to cut it for me. Um, and then... I purchased some proofing baskets, but the long and the proofing baskets came together, so that was just like one purchase. Um, my first loaf of sourdough, um, the recipe and instructions that I followed, um, it got stuck so, so bad to the towel that I was... It, and I may have done it wrong. It was my first loaf, so there that is a major possibility, but... Um, I haven't had any issues since um, with like sticking to towels or anything um, since I purchased the proofing baskets and so I get use out of those and they were um, fairly inexpensive so um, there is that um, and then what else did I purchase you know obviously like parchment paper stuff you have to have um, I purchased what else? And then I bought some flour sack towels um, because I noticed that um, I just did not like using regular towels um, that use, we use for other things um, directly with food. So I bought some flour sack towels that literally only touch um, my sourdough bread while it's rising, whatever, um, and then this jar. So um, I just... As I go, I'm just purchasing little things here and there um, because who knows, it is um, very time. Um, it takes a lot of time to make loaves of sourdough. So I don't want to invest so much money in this and then not stick with it. So um, I don't see why I wouldn't though because it is, um, it's not. Once you get it going, you know, the feeding that takes like two seconds every night, um, it, it's just like, you have, it's very hands-on and with our work schedule I have very little time you know like I have very short windows um, that I am able to make loaves of sourdough so I try to be very mindful about um, you know purchasing things and all of these things my mom is um, making sourdough as well if I do decide that this is just too much for us in this season of life then um, I can give it to her um, but we enjoy the taste of um, homemade sourdough, so I don't see this stopping, um, even if it is just one loaf or two loaves a week. Um, we really enjoy it, and um, I have tons and tons of people asking um, if I would make them sourdough or, you know, something like that. So, I will feed this tonight um, a little later, but I'm glad to have it moved over to um, a bigger jar, and I have freed up you know, three of our regular jars for just day-to-day <laughs> -day life things, so. Okay, so I wanted to uh, kind of show you my um, sourdough toolbox situation. Um, I will definitely do a, um, like I really want to do, not definitely, if people are interested, I want to do like a deep dive, a little bit of like maybe making a loaf for a video and then kind of talking about what tools I use, why I use them, whatever. So, um, I keep everything in a basket for the most part. Pretty much everything in a basket um, to, you know, just have everything in one place. Normally the parchment paper goes up, um, but I have some twine. I tried to make a um, pumpkin shaped loaf. I'm gonna try that again today. Um, I always keep my bread flour, the flour sack towels, my scale, my lawn, my Benetton baskets, and then the sourdough sits beside it. And it sits over um, on the other side of our counter near the sink, but I'm not gonna show you that at the moment. It is a little bit of a disaster. Um, 
so and then our dutch oven um pot it is i think in the it is it's in the oven um i need to get another one so i can use one for you know like solely bread um because like I'm, i've run into the situation today already um like i will have to have both of my loaves of bread finished um so i can make soup if i'm gonna make soup for dinner tonight um because which i could not i don't have to use the cast uh the dutch oven but i do enjoy using the dutch oven for soup so you know it's not that big of a deal but um i need to start lucas's work clothes um and i don't really think this is going to take me all day long to finish because everything's pretty pretty cleaned up um beware um i do not obviously i'm very open with you guys i don't have everything together <laughs> ever um but this is the state of our kitchen um it is pretty bad um that those are my two loaves of sourdough um all of those need to be washed the dishwasher is clean so i can take care of that and then i think we're pretty much cleaned up so maybe it's not that bad um dining room i need to push the chair up those come on there we go those things on the um dining room table just need to be taken to the thrift store um so only thing i need to do really is push push this up put my keys up and then put that in the dishwasher here is the state of the living room those boxes need to go into the trash um we very much cleaned up uh before we had guests over so that, that the food has just been the dishes have just been collected over the last two days um and i don't know what this situation is i think lucas was packing something up so he just needs to take care of that and then the living room is clean so um very minimal. we have some clean laundry in the bedroom that needs to be taken care of but that won't take very long um i should get to it lucas is taking a nap because he has to get up early every single day very early and he is just tired and um in this busy busy season we are both um especially myself i'm really trying to give grace and um I'm capable of cleaning up the house and taking care of things by myself um, at the moment um, because he is going out every single morning. This is a little lopsided, I'm sorry. He is going out every single day, you know, and working a lot of extra hours. So that is what this this season of life is looking like for us. Um, I have a letter that I need to respond to. Um, I need to get on the PC, the computer, and um look and see if i have a response to um my travel agency inquiry 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 form words it is it is a sunday evening sunday afternoon um but that inquiry inquiry form see if i have a response from that um that i can start working on a quote for somebody um just lots and lots of housekeeping i really want this week especially i'm trying to be very intentional um to have the house in working order so the weekdays are not as difficult um if i find time i may do like um some meal prepping probably not but that would be very nice um to get done but on any and all tips about busy seasons in life our schedule has always been the same um you know for the most part and we are being rocked <laughs> in the next couple of weeks with schedule changes so any and all tips leave them below also um i put it in the video i need to clean out the coffee pot but um i got a new coffee pot so i put that in maybe last week's vlog or the vlog that i did most recently that you saw that i posted most recently um and then i know i mentioned it in um the preparing our home for guests video but this is our new coffee pot i love it um it is the beautiful by drew barrymore collection from walmart i picked this up at um yesterday at a grand opening for a cute little shop 
I need to take the price tag off. But a cute little shop in downtown Aniana. It's called Becca's Blooms. Um, it is a little flower storefront. Super, super cute. Um, if you're local, go check it out. But um, I picked this up to put my little spoon on when I mix my coffee up. So um, I need to empty this pot out and start a little bitty um, pot. So I have some fresh coffee to drink this evening. Um, but we, I, I really enjoy it so far. Um, I don't have any complaints, but I feel like it's kind of difficult, you know, unless it just really doesn't do its job <laughs> to complain about coffee, um, like a coffee pot. This coffee is fantastic. Um, I wish it wasn't so pricey. Maybe the price is gone. I don't know. I think it was like $8 for this bag of coffee at TJ Maxx, which is a little high for coffee in my opinion. Um... But I'm a little bit of a cheapo, so maybe it's not that bad. Um, and then I haven't tried this yet. My sister-in-law messaged me, um, and she said that this is a really, really good coffee blend. But I picked it up just in case people didn't like um, white chocolate and caramel notes in their coffee. Um, and this was $4.99 for this bag. Um, but she said it's really good, so I'll have to try it.
Okay, so um, it has been a minute. The kitchen has been reset. The living room has been reset. I water my plants as you guys saw. Um, I am waiting on the washing machine to finish so I can throw in work clothes. Um, Lucas is still napping. So I'm going to enjoy my cup of coffee and I have a letter to respond to from um, one of my subscribers on here, Amy. Um, sorry, it's been a minute. Life has literally exploded since I opened your letter, but I am very excited to sit down and devote some time to respond to that. So I'm going to read back through that again and um, get to writing and hopefully I can drop it off in the mailbox tomorrow on my way to work. But um, I love my new coffee pot. Um, it is not quick by any means. It's not as quick as the Keurig, but um, there is just something about a like a, a brewed pot of coffee over a Keurig. Um, I really, really love this um, brown butter chocolate chip cookie um, creamer. It is one of my favorites. I actually prefer that over um, like pumpkin spice creamer. So um, I'm gonna go enjoy that, um, and then hopefully I can get the. Um, lots of ums today that really gets on my nerves but sometimes that's the only word that just comes out so i have um whoop, trying to get you guys kind of propped up so i have work clothes that need to go in that's next on the to-do list right amy that is um i'm about to finish that after i finish writing to amy I am going to work on my sourdough loaves and then, I'm sorry, I, it, I swear every single time I pull out the camera, the dogs have not barked in hours. Every time I pull out the camera, they start barking. Let me go grab them really quick. Okay, so um, like I was saying, I have to reset the master bedroom slash bathroom and I will wait to do that until Lucas wakes up. I don't want to bother him. And then start dinner is the last thing and again like I mentioned just a little bit ago I may not actually make dinner tonight I will see um if I do it it won't take very long so um a lot of things dependent on other things and then a few things that will just I can really knock out pretty quick um I can't wait to get to my like pajamas my cozy clothes um if you've watched any of my vlogs I am constantly in like the same red t-shirt like my pajamas that is when I'm the most comfortable I'm really trying to be a little bit better about being a little more dressed up when I come on the camera um so I'm going to go write my letter um enjoy my cup of coffee and then I will check back in probably once I start my sourdough loaves also uh meant to mention this just a second ago but i have been working on some video ideas um surrounding sourdough and i have like a um 12 days of sourdough for around christmas time if um i can get around to filming that i think that that might be like an easier video to film like videos to film um it's just like day-to-day -day, like cooking life so i may do that i don't want to promise anything because of how busy um these next seasons of life not next seasons of life but these next few months are going to be um I know I keep talking about it, but it is <laughs> it is going to be a big adjustment. So um, if something like that would interest you, let me know. I'm still going to try and like do a fall bake with me video. It just didn't work out um, a couple weeks ago when I mentioned it. So um, I want to try and film it. I really want to film a video like that this season. But if I don't get if I don't get around to it, um, maybe the 12 days of sourdough baking situation will make up for it. Um, I just need to find some paper <laughs> and a place to sit um, so I can get to rotting.
Okay, so my letter to Amy is finished, and then I just remembered I did not ever um, write a thank you letter to um, one of my most recent clients. I booked her trip, I think last week. Um, so I need to write her a thank you letter, and then I am done with the um, writing for today. Okay, so I don't know how well you can tell. The lighting in this room is pretty terrible, but these are my thank you cards. Um, I got them at Walmart. They are so cute. I love the little stars and the little gold, and then... They are empty on the inside, of course, and then they have these, this yellow little, um, envelope. So, I'm going to write my little thank you and then, um, set those with my purse so I don't forget them in the morning. So it is a little bit later now. Um, I, my um, sourdough bread, both loaves, are finishing up their second rise, um, which was like 30 minutes to an hour. Um, Lucas is up, and we have been sitting and chatting, um, talking about Christmas and Christmas gifts and stuff like that. And um, possibly may have some fun things to do if we are off work. Um, they are talking about us being off work the week, um, like the day. Christmas Eve through New Year's possibly so that will be really really fun um, if we could do that but before I stop vlogging for the evening or for a little while um, I wanted to show you a product that I picked up yesterday um, so my sisters and I and my mom went to an Amazon like 
return store or like an Amazon overstock. Overstock is what I was looking for. Um, which I normally don't go to places like that. But they talked me into going and I'm glad I did. So I picked up this Amica um, heat defense serum. So I wash my hair. Not wash my hair. I straighten my hair, blow dry my hair every single day. And so um, this is really nice. I would never spend <laughs> the money that it actually is. I think it's like, um, it's pretty pricey. I don't want to even say because I don't know um, but I picked this up for five dollars it smells so good if you've ever used any kind of like Amica products um, my hairdresser uses Amica so um, it smells so good and then I picked up hold on I picked up this um, fine hair shampoo so those were the only two things that I got but I really like them they smell really good um, I'm not like a high-end, I don't purchase high-end like products. I enjoy them, but that is just, it's not a priority when it comes to spending my money. So it is nice from time to time to, to have them though. So I really, really enjoy this. And um, like you're supposed to use like one to three pumps and a little bit goes a long way. So I think this will last me. It's, it's very heavy, um, but I used it this morning. I just cannot get over the smell. Um, I used it this morning and really, really enjoyed it. And it just, my hair still smells like it. So, Lucas and I are going to play a video game or something and just spend some time together before the week starts. Um, I finished almost everything except for start dinner um, on my to-do list, my Sunday reset to-do list. Um, I need to, like, I just clean up the bathroom a little bit. Um, and then I need to do some laundry. That may not get done today. Who knows? It's the, the, the day is still young. Um, it is 5.52. So I'm going to change into my pajamas and, um, you know, settle in for the evening. We may have soup for dinner um, or I may just throw it in the crock pot in the morning. So we have it when we get home tomorrow night. I don't know yet. Um, but just trying to be really, really chill um, and enjoy each other's presence for the rest of the evening. Good morning. Happy Monday. So um, I am finishing up getting ready for work. Um, it is 5.59, so 6 o'clock and I need to leave in the next five or so minutes. Um, we are having buffalo chicken salads today. <laughs> so, um, we had been, um, we had, it's too early to speak. I really can't speak in general. <laughs> um, but we have, um, enjoyed some buffalo chicken wraps this weekend. Um, we are out of bacon. So we are going to finish off, hopefully, the rest of the buffalo chicken in a salad form. Um, we've tried to take buffalo chicken wraps to work. Um, and it's just, it's just not as good as um, making them here at home ourselves. So I just need to, the lettuce is already chopped up. Um, the chicken is you know, already in its container. So I just need to pull everything out, get the ranch out. And, um, and there it is. So, um, just need to pull the ranch out and everything else and just make sure anything we could want in a salad that we have it. Um, so last night, um, I mentioned that we were, I was going to hop off for a little while and, um, we were going to play a game together and we did. We played two different games. The first game I really didn't enjoy. It was like a storyline. Um, I think it was called like After Dark, After Dusk. I really don't know. I just saw like a little bit of the name when we were swapping. And then we started the Escape Academy. So good. You really have to like work together like to escape. But such a good game. So I'm sure if Lucas feels up to it, we'll probably play it again tonight. Um, so. So, um, day before yesterday, or the day before that, no, it's been two days, um, I started taking some hormone medication to fix some issues, some pretty urgent issues that I'm having um, with my PCOS. So I am feeling really crummy this morning. Um, and last night, it, it really hit me. I'm very, very sensitive to hormones. Um, and so 
I am really struggling this morning. Um, hopefully, and normally, like, this, the, um, sickness, like, aspect of it, um, normally only lasts, like, three or four days. So, you know, hopefully it will be over with quick. Um, I did finish my two loaves of sourdough last night, and one looks really ugly because it stuck to the proofing basket. Um, after I told you, you guys yesterday that I don't have an issue with that, I did, <laughs> which I don't think I seasoned it well enough, so that is my bad. Um, but you live and you learn. But the first loaf, which I didn't get any pictures of, and Lucas cut into it, and I cut into it, um, it was beautiful, it was so pretty, so. We have two little loaves of sourdough. I am going to finish getting ready and, um, oh, one thing before I finish getting ready. So today the high is 60, 64 and it's 64 right now. And we are having like a massive cold front, um, roll through today and tomorrow, um, so, we're having soup for dinner tonight, or possibly tomorrow night, to get the cozy vibes, you know. Um, so, really excited about that. This will be the coldest weather we've had all season. Um, we've had a, a chat, was chatting with my sister on Saturday. We have really had some beautiful fall weather this year. Um, here in Alabama, it is either really, really cold this time of year. Like, you just never know. We don't really... You can't, we can't predict our, like, fall season. So, um, some years it is really, really warm. Um, and then some years it is, like, really, really cold. We had our, um, our ride for our motorcycle ministry. And two years ago it was so cold. I had, pant like, layers of pants, layers of shirts and jackets and stuff. Um, and then this year it was, like, beautiful fall weather. You could wear, like, a sweatshirt and some jeans and be fine. And then the year before that, I think it was pretty warm. So, really, really enjoying the fall weather. But I need to head out I need because I want to go grab some breakfast. I didn't prepare anything um, ahead of time. So, I hope you guys have a great day. I'll see you this afternoon. Happy Tuesday. Sorry for the scary lighting. Sorry it's been a minute. Um, it is almost 8 o'clock and I just fixed something quick to eat for dinner. I wanted to check in, see how you guys were doing today, um, and show you my dinner. So, really good day today. We have started in on that cold front. So, that cold front has started to roll in. Excuse my hair. Uh, I took a nap after work. Um, but... It is supposed to dip down below freezing tonight, so have to prepare the house, let the pipe strip, whatever, um, so we don't have a leak. But this is dinner. If you can see it, it is sourdough bread with um, like pizza toppings on top. So I'm just going to eat this, drink some tea. I'm a little out of breath. My iron's really low. So in turn, I'm out of breath until we see a little bit of... <laughs> relief in that in that area um but so forgive me if I'm out of breath I know that's really obnoxious to listen to it's obnoxious to have so um I'm gonna eat that sourdough pizza situation watch um the third twilight movie I watched the end of the first all of the second today and um I want to start the third before I go to bed that's what I was trying to say um and then I'll I don't know if you guys get suckered in on TikTok, but, um, you know those videos where one half is, like, a movie and the other half is, like, just something random, soap cutting, whatever. Well, I got suckered in on the movie today, <laughs> and it was called The Click, and you can watch it free on YouTube. Um, it's just some, like, it just reminds me of, like, early 2000s, um, which is a comfort to me. So, I watched that on YouTube, and it was really cute. Um, but something about me, I really don't love to watch new movies and new TV shows. Like, if I find something, I really love to stick to it. So, I've watched Coraline. Like, that's my favorite movie in the entire world. Hey, buddy. Um, I've watched Coraline, like more times than I can count. Um, in high school, my mom uh, was telling me a story a couple weeks ago. She said that um, when she would come home, she would hear Coraline, like, or 
you know, like she would come home from work late or um, get up to go get a drink of water or something in the middle of the night and I would have Coraline playing like all hours of the night. Um, if I had a big test and I was nervous, um, I remember at like three o'clock in the morning um, before my wisdom teeth surgery, I watched the Coraline movie. So that is my comfort movie. But I really love to watch the same shows and TV, like the same shows and movies. So I've watched Friends multiple times. Um, Pretty Little Liars is my comfort show. I've watched that like six, seven, eight times. Started that back again um, this week. Not really like watching it hot and heavy, but it's there. I've watched The Vampire Diaries three or four times. Um, I watched Grey's Anatomy all the way through a couple, um, finished that a couple months ago. I just finished all of Gilmore Girls. So I am branching out a little bit, but like I started Grey's Anatomy when I was in high school and just kind of got sick of it, sick of like having to watch. So I quit doing that. And then my sister pestered me to watch The Vampire Diaries and, um, Gilmore Girls. And so I finally did and enjoyed both of them. So that is, the TV chat for the night. Um, I think I said all that to say. I've watched the Twilight movies multiple, multiple, multiple times. <laughs> but here we are again. It only, it like, it feels fitting um, with the weather change and all of that. Um, tomorrow, tomorrow, today is Halloween. Tomorrow is um, November 1st. So the shift from like fall to Christmas is like fastly fastly approaching um for some with the project we have going on at work we will probably put up our christmas tree a little early this year i'm not sure but i said all that to say i hope you guys had a great day um i am ready to get cozy in bed it is chilly in the house we don't have any air running or any heat it's not quite there yet um unfortunately it is supposed to warm back up this weekend so it is what it is. It's not that big of a deal, but um, we will have to bundle up tomorrow. So my pizza is getting cold. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, happy Friday. So <laughs> it's been a couple of days. Um, I just wanted to catch you back up and then end this vlog here. Um, I just kind of chat through some like maybe a little bit of housekeeping with you. So don't remember the last day I checked in. Wednesday, we worked, um, came home. <laughs> I think Lucas went to bed at like 6, 6.30. Um, I was going to make, I did check in. So I was going to clean the kitchen, did do it. I was going to make cinnamon rolls, also did not do that. Um, so really slacking. Yesterday, um, I got home and we had a contractor here um, giving us a quote on some windows. We are getting new windows in our house. Um, if you've never watched videos before or you don't know, we are living in, um, I don't even know what you would call it. Um, this house has been uh, my family for generations. Um, I was born here. I lived here for the first two years of my life. Um, and so it is um, a fixer upper for sure. We have done the living room. Um, finish our bathroom, bedroom, and like laundry room hall situation, and then the rest of the house um, needs fixing. So um, if you've seen the dining room, if you've seen the outdated paint and wallpaper in the kitchen, you will know it's not that we want it to be that way. It's just what we have for right now. So um, the next step in remodeling this house is getting all new windows. So um, we had that contractor over and he left at like six o'clock, somewhere around there. I went and picked us up Jack's. We ate dinner and went to bed early. Um, we were going to go to Olive Garden tonight for dinner. We are both absolutely like bone tired. So that is not going to happen most likely unless he comes out and tells me that we are going. But um, I wanted to end the vlog because I'm vlogging tomorrow. We are going to um, Covington for the weekend. So I may do like a whole weekend vlog um, or just a Covington vlog and then a weekend vlog or I may just do a Covington vlog. I have no idea. Whatever... Um, I can remember to do. This week has been absolutely hectic. Um, just, I am in survival mode at the moment. Um, as I mentioned, I think in this vlog, my iron is low and I've got those results back. They're not as low as they were at the beginning of the year, but they are still low and that really impacts like my productivity um, and my energy levels. And I'm on some medication that um, 
I am literally just getting sucker punched <laughs> over and over again with different side effects of that medication. So I finished taking that um, over the weekend. So hopefully I'll see a little bit of relief. Um, my doctor messaged me last night um, and she said that they are not um, overly concerned with my iron levels, that they are low, but not low enough to warrant like an iron infusion. So um, supplementation is my only option at the moment. So I am um, taking them some supplements. Um, if you have low iron, you know that that is like the slowest besides like, like iron rich foods. <laughs> That's like, those are two of the slowest ways to um, up your iron. An infusion takes about two or three days and you feel much, much better. Um, so I, it is just going to be a little bit of a struggle. So it's okay. I'm just tired. Um, by the end of the day, Lucas and I come home and we really don't have <laughs> much left in us. I cooked dinner on Monday. That was it. Or it was either Sunday. I don't know. We have um, eaten leftovers and fast food. So I really need to like work on that. Meal prep as much as I can. So we just throw stuff together um, and set myself up for success because our house is a embarrassing wreck. An embarrassing wreck. I don't think it, like we just have laundry piled and dishes piled um, and I hate when it's like that. Our floors need to be vacuumed. Um, it just so I don't know um, how well I'm going to be able to weekly vlog through these next um, six, seven, eight weeks, whatever it ends up being. Um, Next week is like our last um, normal week before um, our project starts at work. And so um, when that starts, my hours will probably, possibly, not probably, will possibly change um, to more. So um, I will most likely, I'm going to try to um, post videos every week. Um, they're going to be topical or weekend vlogs. Weekly vlogs are just so long. It takes such a long time to edit. And while I enjoy them, and I hope you guys enjoy them, I hope you don't... I joke with my husband. I'm in the kitchen every single day, every single time I'm on the vlog. So I hope that doesn't bother you. That's just always been um, the gathering spot in my family's home <laughs> is the kitchen. So um, weekly vlogs take quite a while to edit because they are so long. And so... Um, some topical videos, weekend vlogs, um, you know, like decorate with me. We're going to be decorating for Christmas soon and gift wrapping and stuff like that. I think I can manage that. Um, but like weekly vlogs, I just don't think about picking up the camera during the week. Um, I do. I just don't like execute it. I'm either like freshly showered, um, already in my pajamas. It's late batteries are dead and it's just like so much like mental work for me i know that sounds really silly um but that's just kind of where i'm at um hopefully i have like i set myself up for some kind of success you know with like a, a routine over these next couple of weeks and i can really sit down and um after it's over chat with you guys about um how i have stayed sane and how i've kept the house running um hopefully it is not <laughs> in shambles on the ground because of just not taking care of us and our home and our family. Um, so thank you for letting me be chatty. Um, that's all the housekeeping I have, just where I've been this week, what the next couple of weeks look like for us. Um, just hang in there. Things will get back to normal. Um, we have some possible Disney trips we're chatting about. Um, Nothing has been set in stone yet. We don't have any dates. We're looking at a couple different options. Um, I may have mentioned it before. We had talked about doing an Alaskan cruise this year, a Disney Alaskan cruise. And um, just with um, everything going on and the really large price tag, um, because we've waited so long to book the cruise, it was going to be upwards of like ten to fifteen thousand dollar vacation after like flights and excursions and um we don't want to stay in an inside room we really want to stay at a veranda like on a veranda in a veranda room um to get the most out of our her, like out of our cruise um and so because we've waited so long the prices have gotten so high for those rooms um we both decided that um 
it would probably be best to wait and kind of see what the prices look like for 2025 um cruise like cruise dates those come out in the next couple of weeks so um probably most likely won't be doing alaska th this like upcoming year in 2024 that's okay um that is a great like five-year anniversary which we are we will be upon <laughs> It will be five years before we can even blink. It's almost been three years now. Um, two and a half, whatever. <laughs> so, um, but we are talking about some Disney trips we could take. Um, we don't have anything set in stone, but dreaming about vacation is what is getting us through right now. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys had a great week um, or a great day whenever you watch this, whatever. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Um, thank you for always encouraging me and pushing me and you know, whatever. Um, but I hope to see you guys in the next video. Bye.